Hello everyone, my name is Aaron. I am the Brick Scavenger. Welcome back. You are looking at what is now sort of the finalized version of the Halloween Town because we are moving on. October's coming to an end. And instead, we are now on to the Winter Village. Oh my. We have collected a lot of Winter Village stuff and never really done anything with it. But today... We went to the Lego store, we scooped up some good parts for a winter village. We bought two six foot tables and we are ready to go. The ski slope is gonna get put in. We are ready to go to attack 12 feet of winter village this November and December. I am really excited about this actually. I also get to tackle something that I got a long time ago and have never, uh, built. But here's the trick. Look at this. I have Santa's visit, but I don't have one Santa's visit. I have two Santa's visits. So here's what I thought would be a fun thing to do. My dad is going to build Santa's visit as it was released by Lego. He's going to follow the instructions to a T. I am going to take the second copy of Santa's visit and I'm going to use one of the rebrickable models and build a different version of Santa's visit. I think it's a toy shop. I'll show you later. But we'll stop every bag or two and kind of compare what each, uh, how each one is going. And then at the end, we're going to have two different builds to put into our winter village. Should be fun to build these two side by side. Let's get started. All right, my dad is off and running on the Lego released version of Santa's visit, but I thought I would show you guys in case you're unfamiliar with uh, Rebrickable, what it is. Rebrickable is a website, rebrickable.com, simple as that. And what you can do is you can type into this search bar over here, the name of a set or the set number. In this case, I'm gonna type in Santa's visit. And you can see I've got the 2021 version. If I click on that, it will bring up Santa's visit as you have seen it. It's got some information on Santa's visit. But if you scroll down a little bit, there's a tab called Alt Builds, Alternate Builds. And what this is, is some very clever Lego builders have taken the set, rearranged the parts, built something on their own, made the instructions for it, and then put the instructions on rebrickable.com to share with other people. In some cases, these are free. You can download the instructions and do it yourself. In some cases, you might have to pay a few bucks to get the instructions. I think it's well worth it to reward the designer for their time. In this case, I have chosen Books and Toys Store by Kevin Brick FR. So if I click on that, I'm gonna build this little house kind of looking thing right here. I guess technically it's a toy story, a toy store. But the reason I built it is I thought the interior looked fun. If I flip over, I think some of this interior looks like fun. Looks like it's got a cool staircase in there and some other stuff that looks like they may be building toys. So that's what we're gonna to attack today with the other copy of Santa's visit. Let's get started. Should be a lot of fun to compare these side by side. All right, my dad's off to a good start. Looks like he's got the base of a tree. He's got a little fence and entryway with a cute little lantern built. And I have gotten absolutely nowhere. Oh, take a look at this napping mutt right here, soaking in a little sunshine. It's gotten cold in Indiana. Tomorrow's Halloween, trick-or-treating is gonna be a little more miserable, but Here's why I haven't gotten anywhere just yet. And I wanna note this, I think it's important for you guys to be aware in case you decide to use Rebrickable. If you decide to go the Rebrickable route, I don't blame you, it's a lot of fun, but make sure you're reading the instructions for two reasons. First and foremost, in some cases, the designer takes on the challenge of only using parts that came in that set in which case you'll be able to build exactly the rebrickable model with only that set. But in some cases, the designer will use additional pieces. If, you, if he uses additional pieces, you just need to be prepared to acquire those pieces or find them in your own collection or whatever. 
ahead of time so that you don't get frustrated when you're trying to build it and you know you don't have a piece. But the second thing you need to be aware of is that the designer does not you know use all the parts from bag one and then move on to bag two. The designer uses all the parts from all the different bags in a random order. So the absolute best way I have found to do a rebrickable model is to open all the bags and sort them in some way. Generally speaking, the bigger the set, the worse it is to sort by color because then your piles of main colors are gonna be massive. So I do not recommend sorting by color. In this case, I have, I don't know, a dozen or so categories. I have got, uh, you know, some slopes. I've got some studs on the sides. I've got some one by one small pieces, some Technic. The plates are a little out of control. We may have to sort those down again. We've got bricks, we've got tiles. We have got arches, plants, minifigures, and accessories. We've got some clips and rods. And then of course, I still have a little ways to go. I got about two big bags left and then two small bags. So this is a little time investment up front, but I promise you, it will save you time in the long run. Not that building these sh things should be a race or you should be worried about time, but you will need to find random parts in random bags if you follow a rebrickable model. So just be prepared for that. I recommend sorting, but whatever makes you have the most fun building a model is what you guys should do. All right, so my dad is on page 22 of the standard build. Again, we have the Christmas tree and the little entryway. And he's working on you know, the base of the house. So he'll make some progress from there and we'll update you on that. But that's sort of where he stands on the standard build. You'll notice his heart-shaped build looks completely different than mine. I've got a totally different shape to the base of mine. We've got one wall built with a little uh, door and some windows to get this house started. But again, it's kind of fun to see how two different builds can come out of the same pieces. So we'll get an update again here shortly and get you a feel for what these two are gonna end up looking like side by side. My dad has now reached step 56 on the original Santa visit build. Got a cute little fireplace over here with some logs, maybe a rug by the fire. Looks like some walls and maybe an entryway is starting to go in here and then a kitchen. Look at that little blender. That little blender is super cute. Some tile flooring there, a sink. Some good stuff starting to go in on this little cottage. Meanwhile, oh, I gotta show you this too. Look at all these little presents. These little fun details are super clever little builds. We've got gifts there. We got a little rocket trumpet and a little model house tree and car there. That's super fun as well. Uh, I have started making some pretty good progress on the alternate build here of this toy shop. Here's the outside. I'll be honest, I don't love the outside necessarily. Uh, kind of bland and, and boring exterior. But what I will say is I didn't pick it for that. I picked this build because of the interior. And this, this has got some really cool stuff over here. We've got a little desk with some candles and cups and things like that. We have got uh, inside there, looks like a little, I don't know how well you can see that, but a little like workshop in there with some other stuff, that toys being built. We've got a nice little chair here and uh, what appears to be like a library maybe over here, I think. I assume that's books and stuff. And then look at this winding staircase. That is super cool. Leading up to the second floor where there are more gifts and other fun details in there. Really like this little stocking. It's kind of lying down, so it's hard to see. But the way they used that little bracket piece on top to get a white stripe underneath the green stripe of the stocking is super cute. So I'm enjoying this alt build a lot. We'll have these things finished hopefully today and then uh, do some side-by-side -side comparisons. And these will be one of the first things that get placed in our new winter village for 2023.
All right, I just finished up the alternate build, and I will say that I'm a little disappointed at the end here. A couple of, couple of notes of feedback. First of all, here's the front of it, which is, you know, fine, but the roof literally doesn't attach at all. It just kind of, this notch here just kind of fits through there like this, and then it's only supported on this side and there's no support over there. So I, I don't know, I'm, I'm not a fan of that. I'm gonna grab some pieces from my own collection and try to find a way to attach that better. Uh, and then the other thing was this tree, I don't know if this was the designer's design or if this was an exact replica of a Lego design, but I, the tree turned out fine, it's cute I guess, but the instructions were incredibly difficult to follow. There's a lot of tiny little parts in there and it was very hard to tell what part goes where. So I don't even know if this is built per the specs, but you know, I, won I was winging it a little bit and uh, I think it turned out fine. So it's a cute little tree. We'll have that somewhere outside of this guy in the uh, Winter Village for sure. The inside of this thing, we're gonna do a little bit more of, rev of a review once uh, the original build is done by my dad and we can go side by side. But here's a quick look at the interior. There is some really cool design work in here. So I do like that. We're gonna work on this roof while my dad is finishing up the original build. My dad has about three bags to go, something like that. We've got a super cute exterior here. A Couple of uh, hollies on the door here couple of cute kind of bells or something on the side there. And the interior is just fantastic. You've got the portrait of the three family members here with their three stockings hung over the fireplace, a couple of chairs to sit in. You've got a dining room table that's got great colors. The red and the brown look fantastic. On this side, you've got your little kitchen. Looks like a bedroom up on the second floor. I assume this roof will go on fairly soon. But this is just adorable. The uh, Santa's Visit original Lego build, I think, is absolutely fantastic. If you're considering snagging this set before it retires, just based on this much, I highly recommend it. It is officially November. My dad stuck around through Halloween but left early this morning. So close. One bag to go, so I guess I got to take over from here. Fitting that as Halloween ends, you go straight into Christmas mode. I'm going to start by building a Santa, finish up this bag, <clears throat> and then we'll do a direct comparison. Okay, all done. Here they are, side by side. Again, this is two copies of the same set, Santa's Village. Uh, sorry, Santa's Visit. Uh, this one is as Lego released it. This one is, I got instructions off of rebrickable.com. Let's take a little bit of a closer look at both of these. Super fun. We got Santa's visit here. I love the angular way they put this house in. They've got some bells out front, some cute kind of uh, decorative greenery in here. This is just a beautiful set, nice little tree on the side. I really enjoy the way they did this. And you've got a little entryway here, which you could very easily use to uh, you know, make a walkway with pieces that you have at home leading up to the house. You get a nice tree, and you've also got a bunch of fun little presents that can be put under the tree. So in terms of uh, the outside of this thing, the front, I think it's beautiful. This one is a more sort of rectangular house. Uh, I don't love the outside of this, but what I will note is that taking on the challenge of using pieces that you are assigned to and limited to makes things really hard. So considering the fact that there were very limited pieces that could be used, this is actually quite well done. A tree that is very similarly designed, but I do like the way this one was put into some snow. I think that's super cute. And this will go directly into the Winter Village somewhere. I think that's gonna look really good. And I kinda like this little Santa sleigh here. You know, considering that limitation on parts makes the colors a little bit off perhaps, but man, I think it's a pretty good design considering the parts that had to be used. So I really like that. 
Let's turn these two houses around. I guess technically this one is a toy shop, but let's turn these two houses around and take a look at the interior of both of these as well. I'm trying not to break anything as I go here. All right, here we go. Let's slide these out of the way, this out of the way. This is actually my first like super close look at this thing because my dad has been working on it. We got a fun chimney over here. The stockings hung by the fireplace here with a little portrait of the family. We've got, uh, I guess I showed this a little bit earlier, but here's another look at it. Little bedroom up here, super cute. Super cute design here. If we take another closer look at this one, really notably to me is that winding staircase. I think that thing looks awesome. I really like that. Got a little blender over here, which I think is the same design that was actually in the kitchen over here. Uh, so, you know, some things were, were mimicked for this set as well. But uh, we've got the cute little tree sort of on the interior. This is a lot of different workstations for various, you know, employees, elves, whatever, to build toys and things, uh, you know, as they prepare for December 25. So I really like that as well. I did note earlier that I don't like the fact that this roof does not attach. So I did a quick and dirty modification here. Uh, you won't really see it by looking at the outside, but at least the roof is slightly more secure uh, by adding that one little piece to it so that it won't fall off all the time. Uh, there's a little bookshelf right here. Take a look at the bookshelf from the inside. We've got a lot of plates stacked and then turned sideways. Uh, or is that a couch? Wait, maybe that's a couch. No, that's got to be books, right? It's kind of on the side of the wall, so I think it's got to be books. But that did kind of make me think, what a fun way to make like a crazy pattern on a couch. You could actually do something like that. Maybe we'll have to try that now that I uh, have sort of looked at that and thought about it a little more. Anyway, there's your two sets. Uh, you know, the Lego one is beautiful. And because I don't do a lot of looking at interiors, I think this one's probably my preference. But I will note for anybody out there who may be on a budget and wants to get a Lego set, you know, for the holidays, but then have fun with it over and over again, rather than building it once and displaying it. What you can do is pick up a Santa's villa, uh, visit, build Santa's visit, enjoy it, kind of have the fun with it, take the whole thing apart, and then go on Rebrickable. This design, this the instructions for this are free. So then, you know, with the purchase of one Lego set, you could then, you know, have fun building two different models. And of course, you can build your own stuff as well. I use Rebrickable a lot. I will be picking up three modulars before the end of the year uh, that are retiring. That would be the, the bookshop, the uh, assembly square, and the police station. And I will be using all three of those to make rebrickable models just to add some fun to the modular row that we've got going on. So I would highly recommend you guys check out rebrickable. You can really make some fun things off of there. There are some very clever people out there for sure who make some amazing stuff and then share their work. Some of the instructions are free, some you pay a small fee for, but to me, well worth it to have some fun building Lego, take advantage of a set you might already have and just build it in a different way. That's it for me. It is November 1st and we are going heavy, heavy on the Winter Village for the next two months. Although I may have to finish this. The Haunted Mansion, my wife has burned out with, I don't know, a few bags left. So I'll build that. We'll revisit Halloween real quick to finish that. Then we're going all in on the Winter Village. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you next time.